Here's an update on the litter of German Shepherd puppies that were fostering for Woods Humane Society. The pups are one month old now, and this last week has seen some big changes. We've introduced them to solid food and are working on getting them to eat that more often. They're still getting most of their nutrition from nursing and only a little from solid food, but the mama dog is showing signs that the milk supply isn't going to last a whole lot longer, so we're doing what we can to interest the pups in eating solid food. Just in the last week, they've gotten much more steady on their feet and much more active, where they used to take long naps and just have about 10 minutes of energy, they're now sometimes going for an hour before conking out again. They've been steadily gaining weight and getting really strong. They only got here 12 days ago, and look at the difference in just 12 days of development. The big thing is that they finally got strong enough to be introduced to life outside in our backyard. Our weather is transitioning to spring, so we've had a few days where we could let the pups spend long periods of time outside. One or both of us is with them at all times when they're out in the yard, of course, and the pups seem to have amazing, thick, warm coats that are keeping them plenty warm enough, even though I don't think the temperature ever got up to even 60 degrees outside. We'd set up a little blanket in the sun where they could lie down and let the sun warm them up, and every one of them would move to the shade and either lie on the grass or on the cold cement patio. They clearly seem to have very warm coats and no problem with cool weather. And this week the pups got vaccinations and got dewormed. It all happened at Woods Humane Society, where they have a pretty nice setup for veterinary care there, and they were able to administer all the shots and everything right there at Woods. You may have noticed that they got collars. That was just to make it a little easier to identify a few of them that look a lot alike. The other thing that's been happening is that the puppies have been starting to have more visitors. And you can see from the coats that the visitors were wearing that it wasn't particularly warm outside, but the puppies were having a great time and had no problem with the weather or the visitors. Mama Dog was also totally fine with the visitors, and I think everyone could see what we've been saying about her totally sweet personality. Now, speaking of visitors, if you have any interest in adopting one of these puppies, now would be a good time to introduce yourself and to come over and meet the pups. This is, of course, limited to folks in San Luis Obispo County, California. That's where we live and where this litter of puppies are, and there's no way we're shipping a puppy to anyone. But if you live in the San Luis Obispo area and you think you could provide a good home to one of these pups, let me know and let's get together so you can check out the pups and we can check you out. To be clear, these puppies belong to Woods Humane Society, and they will be the ones making the final decisions about where these pups go, but they also are allowing us to have some input in the matter, so let me know if you're interested. If you've seen the other videos that I made about these pups in previous weeks, you've heard me talk about Snowball, the pup that really stands out from the rest because of all that white fur in his coat, which really gives him a very different look from his German Shepherd mom and all of his brothers and sisters. I started calling him Snowball because of his white coat and how big and round he is. And then just to amuse myself, I mix it up and call him Snowflake or Snowplow or Snow Dog, anything that starts with snow. And is it just me or does this pup look a little bit like the logo for the clothing brand Big Dogs? Well, enough about Snowblower, there is another pup in the litter that stands out from the others because of his coat, and that's this one. I don't know if you're really going to see it on video, it's easier to see in person, but this dog has a different texture to his coat than the other pups do. Some of the hairs stand up rather than lying down flat, 
And instead of being jet black, there's a lot of grayness to the black areas of his coat. Something about his coat and his shape remind me a little bit of a wolf rather than a dog, so I started joking around that maybe Daddy was a wolf, and then I just started calling the pup Wolf, and that name stuck. Again, to amuse myself, I mixed it up with all sorts of variations, beginning with Wolf, like Wolfman Jack, Wolfie, Wolfgang, Wolf Dog, Wolf Boy, Wolf Hound, and my personal favorite, Wolf Blitzer. Of course, whoever adopts these puppies can name them anything they want, but I think out of all the puppies I've ever named, and I've named a lot of puppies over the years, Wolf Blitzer may just be the name that makes me laugh the most. And laughing and playing and just letting these pups bring joy to our lives every day is what I'm in this for. So it's going well as far as I'm concerned. That's my update on our foster puppies. We'll have them here for about two more weeks, and then we'll turn them over to Woods Humane Society, who will have them for a couple of more weeks until they're old enough to go to new homes. Hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed seeing the pups in this video, and that will encourage YouTube to recommend the video to more people, and the more people that see this video, the more likely that good homes will be found for the pups. <laughs>